Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Now in the last video we did, uh, during the Bloons and Pearls video, we did vaguely touch on the Fireball and the TNT, but we didn't do it enough. So today we're putting Fireballs and TNT head to head, and uh, gonna be comparing those two and uh, trying to show the pros and cons of both. And then, yeah, on that note though, I do make Bed Wars content almost daily, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Bed Wars content. On that note, the first thing we're gonna start off here with boys... Ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, anyways, we're gonna start off here by dropping some TNT in this one, and then we're gonna throw a fireball into this one. And we're gonna kinda just like compare the blast radiuses. Um, and it's actually quite surprising. Now something to note as I do this is realize that TNT seems to want, so we'll stand on the second block because this is one shorter, but you'll notice that the, uh, the TNT actually hits us there. Uh, it actually knocks us off. Uh, and this is what TNT's blast radius is going to look like. It clears out the entire bottom layer, pretty much, except uh, the outer ring. It only does the, in uh, I don't know, the middles. And then uh, the top doesn't get affected by that. So, yeah. Uh, and then we go over here with the fireball. I'm going to just try and not make sure I don't clip. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Here. And then we yeet this down there. Notice that the blast radius of this and the server is laggy. Um, that it's exactly the same as TNT, but one of the big key differences is we weren't hit from up above by the fireball. The fireball's blast radius did not hit us from up here, which I find that quite surprising. It has the same blast radius as TNT, but yet TNT will hit us from here. So yeah, in terms of uh, hitting players, TNT wins, so yeah. But as for blowing up blocks, they do the exact same amount of damage. Um, Alright, that means we can move into the... We're just going to move full on into TNT. We're going to talk about TNT's pros and then TNT's cons. So, obviously, the first and most obvious one is that it's cheaper. Like, that's something you have to take into account. I mean, I, if I didn't point it out, somebody would be like, Jelly, you didn't say a pro of TNT was it's cheaper. Yeah, you can buy two TNT for the price of one fireball. And it's actually 10 more over that, so if you bought four of these, then you could actually buy another TNT on top of that. So yeah, TNT's cheaper. That That's a good deal. Everybody likes cheap explosives, right? Uh, the next one is that it pairs well with balloons. Now, I don't think this is a surprise to anybody that this is on the list of pros. TNT is is amazing with the balloons. It is, uh, it's beautiful. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact that TNT is spammable. Not only because of its cheaper price, but that it is actually literally spammable. I will just throw some fireballs here to show you that it is not quite as spammable as TNT. So yeah, TNT is spammable. So that's another pro for TNT. Um, TNT can be used as a weapon uh, and can all... Obviously, both can be used as a weapon, but it can be used as a weapon in the sense that you can, like, bomb an entire base with this. To do something like that with Fireball would be a bit harder. Just due to the spammability, this can be used as a pretty nasty carpet bomb over an entire island, uh, where Fireballs is more of a precise weapon. But uh, anyways, uh, the next thing about this is I can't really give this pro to Fireballs because it doesn't work as well. While you're doing this, you can have a teammate on this bed mining it. And this TNT explosion will knock everybody away, including you. But, I mean, that's why your teammate's here. Your teammate will be here while you're TNT bombing the whole place. And he can just stand in your TNT and mine the bed. So that's a super good play if you're, like, in comms with your teammate. You can pull that off. I typically just play without comms with people. Uh, sometimes it pulls it off. But other times, I mean, I don't really do it a lot. But, I mean, if you got the communication, use it. I mean, TNT a bed while mining it. It's, it's actually going to be good for you. Uh, of course, you don't want to be in the TNT because you could get blown out, but a teammate can do it. So a teammate can stand there in the TNT, and then they basically have defense from all the explosives, explosions knocking the enemies away. Uh, so yeah, let's move into our cons of TNT here. And uh, the first con is going to be that TNT has to be placed or you have to use balloons. Uh, now, obviously, I mean, it's pretty obvious that like you have to get in here. So the first that's the first con we have for TNT is that like you have to get in here and you have to place it or you have to use balloons to fly in above. Now you could do something like this and run by and TNT a bet or something. But yeah, that's going to bring us into our next problem. The next problem with TNT is it has a delay to blow up. So when you place this TNT, one, two, three, I don't know, like 
few seconds, five, five seconds, three to five seconds, something like that. I don't know. I don't have my stopwatch out. But anyways, there's a delay for TNT to blow up. That means after you get in close to an enemy's base, so it's obvious that you're going for their bed, you have to put the TNT down, and then they're like, you're waiting for it to blow up so it opens their cover. In the meantime, they're like, hey, he's at our bed, and they're, they're preparing to come attack you. So that's one of the biggest downsides of TNT. And yeah, that's going to move us into the pros of uh, the pros of the fireball. Uh, so yeah, if we throw one of these, you can see that it blows up upon impact. And that's actually quite sad that it only broke one of those blocks. Uh, so yeah, but anyways, fireball blows up upon impact, which is a good pro. I mean, you're rushing in, right? So like we were earlier, you're rushing in, you just throw this and then you're ready. You mind the bet. Uh, TNT, you would have had to wait there. Uh, the next thing that means is uh, that pro is going to be that it uh, it pairs well with any timed rush. So if you time anything, no matter where you're coming from, uh, you could be on a sky bridge or something. I'm not going to build a whole sky bridge here. You could be on a sky bridge or something, you know, and then just it just times really well because it blows up upon impact. Uh, there's nothing more beyond that. Um, the next pro is obviously this can be thrown from a range. So, I mean, you can be like way back here and be like, woo blowing up a bed from across the map so yeah that's a pro too we have to count it um the next thing is you can be used to snipe enemies off so this is the weapon part of its use like how we talked about how tnt can be used to carpet bomb an entire island this could be like this so say this guy is up here on this pathway we're just going to use this for an easy example and you can't really see him he's hiding but occasionally he jumps out and he's sniping you and he's being real annoying you just yeet this at him and it blows up his bridge and if you timed it well it'll blow him off of it too so yeah fireballs can be a decent fun useful sniping weapon it can also protect your teammate while he's mining a bed but like i said it's not as easily spammable so this might not keep him off your teammate while he's mining the bed now we're going to move into the cons of fireball and that the first con is going to be that it is expensive I can buy two of TNT for the price of one of these slow moving explosives. Uh, so yeah, the expensive sucks. Um, and the next thing, the next con I have here is that it can be used with balloons, but it, that can actually work against you. Uh, as you can see, it can hit your balloon and blow you up. Now with the three second cooldown of taking damage. Wow, I cannot hit this balloon. I don't even know where those fireballs are going. Okay, anyways. Uh, with the new cooldown nerf to balloons, I don't know if it's safe, but you used to be able to use this to an advantage. You could be like flying away and then be like, well, if I could hit my own balloons, that'd be great. Okay, well, anyways, you could hit your own balloons and boost yourself essentially to get away further. Uh, and that would, as you can see, it kind of thrusts you forward. Uh, and you could use that, but with the cooldown now, uh, that might be a bit more risky. So, yeah, that said, uh, a few other fun things to note about TNT and fireballs before I take off out of here is that if we put some stuff behind here, right, we put it behind these nice ceramic, as you can see, this is, this is fully ceramic except for this side, but that shouldn't, that shouldn't affect it, I don't think. But if we, uh, if we throw these fireballs, I'm gonna make sure I'm a little farther away to be safe, and we throw it, like, in these corners here, now... I don't know if the corners matter, it just seems to work better that way for me with fireballs personally because they're like an angled explosive. You, you can see the wool I just put behind there is gone. So we can also redo this with uh, with TNT as well and I'm going to do that once I uh, move the stone block that I misplaced. Uh, you can actually put this in the corners as well and um, note what happens. The stone layer underneath is gone. So, I mean, obviously, like, if this is a really big bed base and they had, like, ten layers under this and it was massive, you wouldn't want to do this because, I mean, you'd probably just want to come down here and pick up this stuff first before doing that. But I think it is worth noting that, like, you can blow up, like, a layer of the base without... So if it's a small, if it's a small little bed cover, I guess is what I'm getting at. If it's a small bed cover and uh, like it's only like one layer under the ceramic that you really care to get rid of, you could actually bomb the ceramic, then mine the ceramic, and then get to the bed. Uh, outside of that, if you're tr if it's a really big bed, you're better off coming down, mining some of the ceramic off of it real quick, and then uh, then blowing it up. Yeah, on that note, I'm not sure there's much more to talk about outside TNT and fireballs. 
Uh, you can use fireballs and other proto fireballs as you could potentially launch yourself like that. I mean, you can make jumps with this and stuff. It's pretty risky though, you know, it's it's a bit hard to like, maybe if you had it mastered it'd be a bit easier, but I think personally like doing this is a bit dangerous, uh, especially with pings on Roblox servers, it can be a bit risky. But yeah, I mean, pretty interesting stuff I think. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, now where I guess I could tell you guys what I personally prefer. Uh, to be honest, I used to be a big Bloons TNT, and I don't know who wouldn't be a big Bloons TNT person. Uh, like, back in the day, before Bloon Nerf. Uh, I really do like Fireballs, though, too. I just love the precision of it, and the instant explosion helps me so much. So I'll see bases all the time with something like this or whatever that has, like, a soft spot, essentially, is I guess what we'll call it. Because uh, it's not ceramic over or you know, it could even be something like this. I've seen ones like this where It'll be like ceramic up to here, but this will be open So and then I'll be like on a sky bridge of course because I'm not gonna rush a ground level That would be dumb of me, but I could just be like Boop throw that and then just you know rush in get the bed. So yeah, I don't know personally I've been preferring fireballs although they are more expensive uh, since the balloon nerf, sometimes TNT with balloons has gotten me in some really bad places. Because you'll be here, you'll be like bombing this bed, and then you get slightly too low, and TNT has a massive explosion, and then it'll pop your balloons, and then you can't use balloons, and then the enemies are hitting you. And yeah, things just go bad with balloons now, ever since that dirt. So, yeah, sometimes balloons go well for me, other times things go really poorly for me. So anymore, I just kind of like the precision niceness of the fireball. Uh, on that note, though, that's just my opinion. You guys can have yours. And then, yeah, make sure to leave me your comment and your opinions below, or any, uh, any pros or cons I didn't really mention or talk about in here. Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below as well. Uh, a quick one before we go, I think a con of fireball is sometimes you'll throw it at things and it'll hit in a specific spot and it just does not seem to do the appropriate amount of damage like that blew up everything but other times you'll throw it and it blows up like one block like it did earlier when i threw it at the bed way earlier in this video so yeah anyways uh before i keep rambling i'd like to take a minute to thank our members so thanks mama peace for being a member of the channel it's much appreciated and on that note guys i'll see you in the next video peace out haha <laughs> for my people who stayed till the end i made a tnt cannon so yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's build this up a little bit actually. I think that'll help it a bit if we do. Let's see, let's see, does this actually work? Uh not really. Let's try this. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Uh yeah, it's not really working. I know if we mine these down, it'll somewhat work. So we'll just we'll just do that and uh we'll call it a day. Yeah, we'll call it a day. We gotta make sure we have enough health though. I'm not trying to die. Woo! Goodbye.